okay here comes the next question what costed 8000 the indira gandhi government to buy and the janta party 58000 to dig up and the latest one was created in the name of mr modi what was this you can see the picture there quite a few people getting it right so we'll close yeah, pulse like in 10 seconds answer right so far in fact i'm really upset that there are no creative wrong answers <laughs> yeah there's one there's one history of india that she hit Okay. Funnier ones now. <laughs> oh yeah. Bounces close. Bounces close. So those of you can stop giving us foundations of Ram Mandir. No, it is not the foundations of Ram Mandir. Yeah, this is the time capsule which they have put in the foundation of Ram Temple in Ayodhya, which they are planning to put it. That is the. This right has answer. nothing to do with Ayodhya. Just to no, no, no. I mean, I mean that is what uh, the latest one which is being created in the name of Modi for that part. But it okay. is basically the time capsule. Time capsule. All right. Yeah. That's that's fine enough. Good enough. Zaman came up with a creative wrong answer and said Nehru's mistakes. <laughs> Buried by the Indira Gandhi government and pulled up by the Janata government. Anyway, so here it is: a fort, a time capsule, and a secret. Uh, so it was the time capsule. The Indira Gandhi government had set a time frame of thousand years by extracting the copper capsule. Of course, it. came up a couple of years later itself i guess in fact the interesting thing about this this is buried this was buried near the red fort and okay. the janta go- government exhumed it and nobody knows what was in the time capsule except what janta party told the rest which is that it basically contained positive stories of nehru and indira gandhi so nehru was actually okay. not far away from the answer not far away from someone said award 100 points to the guy who said nehru's mistakes <laughs> <laughs> Just to Bose. so uh, just to quickly summarize uh, the reason what uh, I said it's nothing to do with Ayodhya is because there's another conversation happening about time capsule in Ayodhya. This is actually in Jalandhar. So the lovely professional university LPU stands for lovely professional university uh, has buried a time capsule last year, which includes interesting things from radio transmitters till uh, cell phones uh, that was buried. Uh, under the flag, uh, and it was in tribute to uh, Narendra Modi, and they had invited a few Nobel laureates for this inauguration ceremony. We have the audio piece about uh, the Voyager audio track. Yeah, well. Actually, I, I was just interested. You raised the uh, question when you first came up with this question. The first thought, thing I thought was the ultimate time capsule of all humankind was the one which was uh, proposed by Carl Sagan and came into reality, which is the golden record on the Voyager, which is. Somewhere past Pluto and entering outer space. So this is the Indian song by Kesar by Kerkar, which is on the Voyager one. You can hear the song. So, like Naveen said, this is the best time capsule uh, possible, where it had Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, and Kesar by Kerkar floating in space. And also, also. I think uh, the word "hello" in many, many languages, and photographs and images of people across the earth, and animals, and it's a little spark of the human civilization out in floating out in space somewhere. It also had images of two uh, nude hu- man and a wom- uh, woman. Which that was the drawing the, outside, yes. Which, which and, 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 the and, earlier and, thing about censorship caused a lot of consternation at that time because oh, they were shown as you know f- f- fully nude, which was correct. But I mean, various people got upset about it. Okay. Wasn't it the Vitruvian Man by Da Vinci? No, no, it was a oh, nude, no, no. Okay. nude man. Okay. 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 Okay.